have been waiting for you to ask me that forever. Any news on my buddy Far? They break him yet? Face it, my friend. Everything you've done is for nothing. I'll see you in a few days. We'll celebrate in Canada. We need a new leader. It should be me. I was the one with the most experience, huh? Get yeah, my case agent back from the sedan. Let's get focused. Something happened. It's gonna be all over CNN. <laughs> agent Al Saeed. Warren Russell, your new case agent. There's three addresses here for decommissioned hospitals in L.A. County. Now I'm supposed to secure one as an operational case. They want me to get an FIM 92B. I'll have it to you in 48 hours. You realize I'm talking about a service to air missile, right? This fucker is the heat. Ah! He betrayed us! Uh, He's trying to send us a fucking paperweight! Why didn't you tell me the battle of units were messed with me? It's got your fucking mind. We're not gonna give him a working service to air missile, you know that! The YSCN hopes downtown Los Angeles, Locker 67. This is for our safe house. I want forensics to get everything. Safe house wasn't so safe, huh? Pick him up, get him out of here. No! I thought it was gonna be quick this time, but, but it's not. I've cloned the new authenticator, but the URL is no longer working. So our digital forensics team is trying hard to track the home server, but it's problematic because so far both of those websites have shut down immediately after you've accessed them. Girlfriend said you dropped by. Railroaded her on the side of the immunity, eh? Threatening criminal penalties. Now she's scared out of her mind. Good. Should be. And she's a civilian, darling. And you pulled her into this world. Now she needs to understand the consequences. Not behind my back, man. You should have just asked me to bring her in. You could have given it to me, and I could have given it to her to sign. Why? You got enough to worry about, okay? Background info on your new playmates. A charming group of 
damage humans. Wilhelmina van der Holst. And that is a health certificate for legalized prostitution in Amsterdam. She's a hooker. Hmm? Oh, private club escort. Yeah, that's the fancy kind. Benito Velasquez. Now you ask me, yeah. The jihad is just another game for old Benny. Pretty silly stuff on Salim here. Yeah. My parents were bad daddy physicians who immigrated to London during the worst of the Iran Iraq war. But MI5 is still investing shoe leather to get a better handle on his path to radicalism. Do we have remote audio and video set up in the hospital yet? Texts are on it right now. Good. What's the purpose of your visit? I'm hooking up with my fiance in Vancouver. Gonna meet his parents for the first time. Good luck. Thank you. You're telling me that the United States government is releasing one of the most dangerous terrorists in our custody. We're not releasing anyone, Special Agent Soleil. We are simply transferring custody of the detainee to a more appropriate facility. Saad Ben Safwan, a.k.a. Faris al Farik, who is wanted in his homeland for multiple criminal acts, including homicide and treason. We are extraditing him at the request of his government. So what did they promise in return? Increased cooperation on the global war on terror? Oil at $70 per barrel for one month of summer? You have no idea what this kind of move does to morale on the front lines of the real war on terror, the one we're out there fighting 24-7 don't lecture me about the front lines. I started my government career as an operations officer at CIA. I only agreed to this meeting as a courtesy. Because the truth is, 
we wouldn't have Saab and Saab wanted to extradite to the Saudis if it weren't for you people, so I figured we owed you that. But you have no dog in this fight. The Justice Department has no jurisdiction over the detainee, and last I heard, FBI has no jurisdiction over any prisoners of any kind. This is a matter of national security, plain and simple. DOD and CIA have used all lawful interrogation tactics, and a few highly questionable ones as well. But this son of a bitch is like the Rock of Gibraltar, immovable. So what's your plan? Keep him incarcerated for 40 years? It's time to throw the rule book away and get him to talk. So we send him to the Saudis to be tortured. Your word, not mine. Ilya? Ilya? <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> you did it. Vancouver, here we come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you got? The network has ordered me to secure 100 pounds of RDX. It's an explosive... No, I know what it is. It's just about the most powerful military explosive we have in our arsenal. You know, you pack enough of that shit together, the whole shockwave alone will bring down a building. Yeah. Well, it's next on the Al-Qaeda shopping list, and I need you to get it for me. <laughs> and don't fuck around with it like you did with the missile. It's gotta be pure, unadulterated. Otherwise, it'll blow my cover. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. We cannot permit a terrorist group to acquire explosives of that magnitude, Darwin. We've been through this. If we play this out a little bit longer, we, we can follow the trail all the way up the chain of command and possibly break this network wide open. Okay. Maybe I can supply some inert explosives. You can't fake this, man. A female subject? Is an explosives expert. She can see through any bullshit. Mm. 
No. It's just too risky. Is it a case? Your career. The answer is no. Are we quit? Can I help you, my friend? Do you have an Arabic magazine called Janatullah? Excuse me? Janatullah. God's paradise. I was told I could find it here. to you if I needed help. Who was your name in Bosnia? Hamza bin Ali, before he was killed by the Serbs. What was the son's name? He had no sons. His daughters were named Zainab and Hanifa. Where did you take your bio to the jihad? At the rendezvous point in Zenitsa. How can I help you, my brother? I need new papers on the way out of Canada. Of course. You'll be on a plane back to Europe tomorrow. I will need some time to get my affairs in order. You do not have the luxury of time, my brother. Tie up any loose ends and be back here tomorrow night. I understand. You need a photo for your new passport. Smile, brother. After all, you don't want to look like a Terrorist. Yeah, relax, man. What you worried about? Fucking everything. So what's up, bro? We got our orders from the Brotherhood. We have to secure our DX. And that's an explosive, right? Yeah, uh, military grade. But uh, it's also used in construction work, urban demolitions. At the East LA Interchange. City's turned down three square blocks and nothing but brown people just to make way for a new ramp onto the ten. Mana has got boys working all over that site. How do we get to it?
it's not too late, you know. You start giving me some useful intel, and I'll take you back to the States. The judge is a real professional. They say he can torture you to with an inch of your life, but not go over that line. You won't die. But you wish you were dead. Listen, um, I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to call you back. Life is very hectic, very busy. Yeah, I can imagine. But I'm not calling to hear your excuses. We have good news. We found someone. Excuse me? A girl. Your mother and I have found a girl for you. She's a sweet girl. She's a medical student. Her name is Farah al Askari. She was raised in America. Her family is very prominent in Baghdad. And they have good relations with the new government in Iraq. <laughs> you mean a new American puppet regime? No, no, I don't want to talk politics. She's a good Muslim. And a marriage will bring honor to both families. Oh, but look. I've told you a thousand times I am not ready for marriage right now. Not ready or not willing? Oh, but listen. No, no, no. You listen to me. It has been decided. You will meet Farah. And if the two of you get along, our families will arrange the wedding. Fine. I'll see you if it makes you happy. Sure, your boys won't come through. Drove him on his first assignment from the gang. He was supposed to take out this water from Main Street. Like a turkey shell. Minced. Sat on him three more times and I shoot him back. So I ran my words and those dudes took out the target. They flop and look headed for the care. He old, man. Hey, Brandon, don't go too far. Alicia, it's too too. All right, take care of your sister. Come on. Guys, Alicia, go with Brandon, all right? What's up, Flaco? What's up, amigo? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah. This is my friend, Darwin. Darwin? I like the name, man. Survival of the fittest, right? You Muslim, like Benish? No problem. Nah, man, Benito tells me you guys like Jesus, too. 
So, what can I do for you, Holmes? I need to borrow some of your construction equipment. Borrow? Like, what kind of equipment? RDX. RDX. I need an echo, man. You heard me. How much we talking about? 100 pounds. It's crazy, man. You know how much security they got around that shit? Around the construction site, yeah. Not around the secret money we are staying? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Or it is. I'm just working the side, been sticking out bits and pieces of RDX for the past 18 months. Mata has got enough in storage to blow up an entire block of A Street homeboys they start acting up. You don't know what you're asking me, man. I know exactly what I'm asking you. The only reason you're still alive is because I never told Mata how you fucked up. You owe me your life, puto. Just for that. No, for everything. For a very long time, I felt nothing at all. I was like a dead man. You made me feel alive again. That's a great book. It, it shatters a lot of stereotypes about Muslim women. Cool. I'll check it out. It's really inspiring. 
for me that one um, won't seal the deal. Hmm. You, you're a Muslim? I reverted to Islam three years ago. <laughs> you're a surprise. <laughs> Sorry, I... You just... You don't look like a... Um... An Arab woman in a veil. Yeah. Mm. I guess I have my own stereotypes, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm Gail. Mina. Pleasure. Yeah, hi. I actually was gonna go down the block and, and get some coffee. Do you want? You wanna come with? Or... Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. <laughs> you better pay for the book. Yeah, definitely <laughs> gonna pay for this book. Really grateful. Kuliel Ismal Umala Al Qada Bidwak Fil Mamlaka. Allah ina amafia ibn al Kaaba. Taraf ismi al ismi min al Hajjaj. Al Rafia al Azab al Mutamaradin al Khawarij qabla al Fasalaf Mid Sana. مسلمين كثير يتبيروا وحش أصوى العنقز الإسلام من المتعصبين ما أنت إلا وجه جديد للخوارج وأنت تستاهل نفس الشيء <تصفيق> called Amstelveen. It's a little south of Amsterdam. It's like, how do you say that? Um, a suburb. Um, can I ask you a personal question? Go ahead. Why did you become a Muslim? Well, I grew up in a very liberal family. We had money, choices. There were no rules to speak of. Everything was all right, as long as it felt good. So, uh, well, I did what I wanted. Parties, drugs, sex. I had a great time. But it took over my life. After a while, I started to feel lost. And one day, I met a Muslim woman. She was a Turk, an immigrant. She worked in a grocery store down the street. <laughs> I used to feel so sorry for her, wearing that headscarf. How could she be so brainwashed? And so kind of like you, I'm... I started asking questions and talking to her. And then I began to realize that maybe I was the one who was brainwashed. I mean, all of that so-called freedom in the West didn't bring me happiness. It just made me a slave. A slave to fashion, a slave to the cosmetics industry, Slave to men. And then I read the Holy Quran. And I saw that Islam gave dignity to women. In Islam, I learned that my value comes from what's inside my heart, my soul. And that's when I became truly free.
Can you just be Celine? Can I get drinks for you? Uh, I just fucking lost Vodka martini. Hold the olive, please. We drink. Uh, I know. It's against the rules, but I just finished this 12-hour shift in the ER for at Cedars. This guy had a bicycle handlebar rammed up his nose halfway through his skull. So, <laughs> yeah, trust me, I need a drink. <laughs> Well, um, my parents tell me that you're working here, but you studied overseas. Yeah, um, I'm an electrical engineer. Oh. I received my degree at Imperial College in London. Oh, I love London. Have you ever been to, um, oh, uh, uh, Biraswami on Regent Street? Their chicken curry is amazing. Uh, I don't think that restaurant is halal. Okay, we have a vodka martini and sparkling water. Thanks. Get in. Yeah. Well, what's going on? friend is one of the targets of our investigation. I don't understand. Somehow she found out about you, which means she's suspicious of Darwin. Now the next time she contacts you, we're gonna have your phones tapped. We'll be listening. Oh no, 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 I am not doing this, okay? I'm gonna take my son, we're gonna leave, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking Omaha, okay? Where my sister lives now, and then, and, and we'll... No. We won't come back until this if is you over. you disappear now, that'll send up a thousand red flags. Might as well shoot Darwin yourself. It'll be all right. Working with us from here on. I'm sure I need to keep an eye on the time. I'm joining some friends for the football game tonight. You mean soccer? Yeah. Barcelona versus Arsenal. <laughs> I love Rodinho. He's such an awesome player. He's Wait, you follow football? I love the game. I've been playing since first grade. And um, I even made the women's varsity team over at Dartmouth. <laughs> I think you're the first girl in America that I've ever met that cares about football. Do you still play? No, not on a team, but I might coach a, uh, a girls' team at a Muslim youth camp in Pasadena this summer. They host women's football in a Muslim youth camp. This is America, Islam. I mean, Islam is thriving because we're integrating, you know? You don't need to cut ourselves off from mainstream society the way Muslims do in Europe. First of all, Muslims don't choose to be separate in Europe. We're forced. 
And she talk as if the American way of life with its hedonism and materialism is on equal footing with Islamic values. I mean, look around you, Farah. Truth is, Americans are on a self-destructive path and Islam is the only thing that can save them. Do you really believe that? Of course I do. Then, um, excuse me for asking, but what are you doing here in the U.S.? in LA of all places. I mean, talk about hedonism and materialism. The truth is, um, I've always been a, a bit of a masochist. <laughs> Steer clear from me if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Yeah, um, that was just my mates calling. Bloody hell, um, I'm sorry, but I really do need to get going. Yeah. Notice I didn't, um, offer my hand. I didn't want to upset any of your delicate fundamentalist sensibilities, so. Mm -hmm. Cover it. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. I thought you might enjoy a little taste of the Balkans. Where did you get this? I found a Bosnian restaurant in Vancouver. They have chivapi, burek, all your favorite dishes from back home. It's a sign, you know. We were meant to be here together.
Josh is sterilizing the wire. It won't let you die from some nasty infection after he shoves it up your urethra. But you probably passed out after a few seconds. Most people do. But every time you urinate, you'll feel it again. You're hissing fire for the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be this way. You can end us anytime you want. Oh boy, I thought. I wouldn't want to bore you. You think I fucking enjoy this? Americans hate this shit. It's not who we are. But to tell you the truth, I don't care. Because you took off the fucking gloves. I do things I hate myself for. And I blame you for that. All of you. If you would just cooperate, I can get Hajar to stop. I. I understand him. What? I just... I understand him. He does what he believes is necessary. You care more about analyzing your guilt than achieving victory. That is why we all win. You will lose. Nice speech. I bet the Japanese said something like that just before we dropped the bomb in Hiroshima. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. 
Was this meeting on the books? Not that I know of. I'll tell you in a sec. What the hell is he doing now? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Paul Russell. Well, Joy, something I picked up from my former chef. What? Well, think we're being bugged? <laughs> These days, you can never be too cautious. So why are we here? The Ulamov ordered us to secure an explosive called RDX. Through Benny, we've located a secret stash belonging to some of his old friends. Well, not a bee. We're going to take it. Tonight. Do you have your field kit with you to do an on-site testing material? So, what's it for? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. White noise generator? Well, where the hell is he going? No, I didn't authorize any... You follow him and get back to me. You understand? Turn off your blankets and go back to normal speed. I don't see anybody. I probably just imagined it. told me that the banger who called guard duty that night is a notorious party dog, Richie the Pig. He's always sneaking up to some chica's place to do beer, weed, her, and leaves the explosives till the morning. He knows he's not really taking much of a risk as no one's got the balls to rip them out of the air up on their home turf. Nobody but us. Yeah. Guys, music. I'm so new. Carefully, you set this place 
be empty. Fucking didn't lie, man. Richard the pig is so proud like a fucking hog, he just didn't leave his post this time. I think we should bail, man. I don't want to be what my face looks like. No, fuck that. Let's just get him. Take the explosives, that's all. No. Pile up two new bodies, draw attention from the cops. Beat it, that's your job. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Even my plane ticket. I have good news, Ilya. Hmm? I prepared all your documents this morning, but I just got an email from the Ulam. They want you to stay in Vancouver for the time being. But you said I had to leave immediately. You said I had to tie up your sins. Plans change. The brothers have decided you're more valuable right here. They have something new on the way in Los Angeles. And the network may need your expertise. Relax, my friend. Huh? You may be in Vancouver for several months, maybe longer. <laughs> You're a strong man, son. I have to admit I'm impressed. You wish your wife and daughter will be able to take. Me?
ان شاء الله يعني تروح من هذا المكان RDX? Are you out of your fucking mind? You can't risk dropping the ball when we are this close to breaking this case. Since you wouldn't help me, I had to go off the grid. Darwin, now I may not have a ton of field experience, okay? But I know enough to see that you have made some bad fucking choices here. Now what the fuck is happening to you? Huh? You... You are what's happening to me, man. You've only been on this case for a few weeks. You're already fucking things up. I can't keep you in the loop. So far, the only thing you've proven to be good at is getting people killed. And that scares the shit out of me. It's bad enough I gotta worry about the bad guys. I shouldn't have to worry about you, too. Boy, let's cut the horse shit. This isn't about me or about the choices that I have to make to effectively run this case. This is about you and your misguided sympathy for your little Muslim brothers out there that have started war with this country. Fuck you. Don't you even fucking go there with me. Do you understand? It is my life that is on the line every fucking day, every fucking day. Don't you dare question my loyalty, ever. I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim and an American. And what I do, what I do every day, I do for my God and my country. You tell me how getting the fucking sociopaths enough RDX to blow a massive hole in downtown LA serves your God or your country. Radiation containment facilities. What? I did a walkthrough of a hospital that we secured compared to the specs of the other two that the Brotherhood wanted me to check out. They all share one thing in common. Radiation containment facilities. Clear attack. Now you understand? You 
have to find out where the nukes are coming from and intercept them. And I have to keep the Brotherhood happy until they give us a shot at grabbing that information. Why didn't he just tell me? It's like you said, man, I'm in the center of this shit storm. So I'm in control of this case. Well then, since you're so in control of the case, maybe you can tell me why one of your cell members has taken an inordinate interest in your personal life. Valuable. 